Hey, my name is Ephraim Palermo, and I'm going to show you how to build a sun projector using construction materials. Actually, I had this idea with the last Venus transit in uh, June of uh, 2012, and I had 15 minutes to figure out how I can see Venus transiting the surface of the sun. And so what I did, I went ahead and got a pinhole projector, you know, I got a piece of paper, an aluminum foil, poked a hole in it, and I got the sun a little bit, but it wasn't really very clear, very sharp. <clears throat> so I had this idea with these pair of binoculars I had, and I had a piece of gutter downspout. So what I did is I taped the binoculars to the top of the gutter, and got this tube, a construction tube, all right? And I put a piece of paper in the back, and I, and I put this together on the downspout, and I was able to get beautiful images of Venus transiting the sun. Anyway, so I thought I'd give you know show people how to do this. So if you want to do this in your backyard, and and uh, what was very interesting is that you can actually see sunspots as well. So it's very good too to observe the sun and the next future uh, transits. All right, all right. So here are different parts you're gonna have to build. Uh, first off, you need something to hold the telescope or the sun scope off the ground and be able to maneuver it. So this is something I built real quick, dirty. It's like a little tiny sawhorse. And what I did is I made a block of wood that can swivel back and forth. So basically I just put a screw in each end so it's free to move. And then I drilled an inch and a half hole to the whole block right there. Okay, then what I did is I built a block of wood around the gutter downspout. Okay, this is a 10 foot length aluminum gutter. And this is right now, so you can move it up and down, right? And then I put a dowel on the bottom of it. Okay, so when it gets put together, you can be able to move this up and down, right? And swivel this way. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of this. And then once I have everything set, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some screws through the block wood into the gutter downspout, and that will keep it in the set position. <clears throat> and I, this is a construction tube used for concrete forms. They come in 10 inch, 12 inch, right? And then on the inside, what I did, painted it black, and I used uh, chalkboard paint. Okay. It's kind of a flat black. It's not as flat as, as I would like. Um, if you had the money and the time, you can get special uh, flocking paper that's used for inside of telescopes or a paint that's used for that method. But basically the idea is to create, is to minimize reflection from the inside of the tube. All right. Okay, the next thing is a piece of poster board. So basically it's going to be the back. I'm going to cut this right to fit so it fits in a circle so that's going to be the screen for your image and again if you had the money if you want to get fancier you can actually use uh, the same material they use for uh, projection screens those, those pull down screens uh, that would probably give you a better image but for now I think that worked pretty good okay then you need a pair of binoculars uh, you know the, the higher power you have the better image you're going to get okay so, anyway, so that's that. And the, the, I had a real good pair of binoculars, but I had this idea of cutting it in half and just making a permanent uh, sun projector. However, when I cut it in half, I actually screwed up the optics and just made a mess out of it. So don't do that, all right? Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do is, is uh, create this in such a way so that when you're not using it as a projector, you can take this off and use your binoculars. Okay, so it'd be like a dual purpose. All right, and this piece of foam, it is not necessary. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it at the same uh, dimensions as the inside of the, of the tube, and then glue my paper to that. That way it gives it more of a steady, uh, uh, sturdier surface to put on. So basically what we're gonna do is put all this together, attach the binoculars, get the range, and then we should have a sun projector. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the next stage here. I'm gonna build the, the backing for the tube. I went ahead and put a two by four 
uh, on one side of the tube and I put some glue in it and screwed it in on each end. And this will help stabilize this on the, on the gutter downspout. All right, so I cut the, the section out and this will fit inside the tube. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue the poster board to the aluminum side of this. I'm just thinking there might be some reflecting uh, reflection from the back of it. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to that part. All right, so I got the tube attached to my frame. But it's gonna slide the gutter in and out. Right? Let me get my range going. So the next step, and this is the tricky part. Okay, what you wanna do is to get this, the optics aligned with your tube. Okay, and then once you have that set up where you want it, then you're gonna tape this down and keep it in position. Okay, but that's gonna be a trick. Don't, don't look through the binoculars at the sun to try to line it up, okay? You're gonna burn your eyes out or worse. Okay, so just look at the reflection, at the image that you're getting from the binoculars and just line it up so that it's once it's set in the center of the tube, then you're, then you're good to go, okay? All right, so actually uh, what I had to do is wait for the sun to get a bit lower. Uh, it could have made it a lot easier for me to find uh, the sun and the tube. So basically the way this works is you slide it in. It's actually easy with two people when you have somebody holding the other end. But well, basically what you wanna do is get it close enough Right, so you can see where the sun is projecting on it, and that's how you adjust your binoculars, right? You get as close as you can, because if you have it centered close, then as you expand it out, it should stay centered. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take the camera off and show the picture, what it looks like right now. All right, so there you see the sun. And if you look closer, you can actually see uh, some sunspots already. Okay, so that's the sun in the center. So now, basically, the further back you move your, your downspout, the larger the image. Okay? And now it's getting behind some trees. You can kind of see the sun right there. And I kind of like that size. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to tape the binoculars down a little bit better. Okay, so this is the finished sun projector. Uh, what I did is I painted the outside of the tube yellow just to give it some color. All right, and I expanded upon the sawhorse idea. I just want to make the bit stout a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'll show how that works. I went ahead and painted the pipe black, so this is white gutter. And I didn't want to, I want to minimize the reflection coming from the gutter into the tube. Okay, back here, this is just like a sunblock. Okay, basically it just forms a shadow around the outside of the binoculars. Okay, and then I had an extra pair of a, a tripod. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm using this just to kind of decision it. Uh, because every time you, you move it, you set it down, and you have to kind of reset it. So if you have something you can stand it on, like an extra type tripod, at least it keep you within that same, you know, range. So you don't have to go hunting for the sun and you can just kind of move it. Okay, so while I got this camera rolling, I just want to show how this works here. I'm going to pick it up so you can see. Okay, for one thing. See, with this design, it gives me free movement in any axis, axis. And the way I did that is I used that 4x4 four four in the center. And it's just, it's just uh, has bolts to it, but it's not attached except to the bolts in the sides so that it can go swivel this way. Okay, then I drilled an inch and a half hole for a dowel underneath the base of this. See? 
So this gives me this lateral movement. I'm gonna put it in. It goes like that. Okay, now the distance between your binoculars and your projector screen is really variable. You can change that. The further back you go, the bigger your image is going to be. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But also, there's a point where the back end of it, you know, you don't want to have so little of it that it's too hard to maneuver. Okay, so as it is, uh, what I did is I put, I filled this section with rocks and brick, and this whole bottom section is weighted down to act as a cantilever, right? Because this is going to get pretty heavy. I mean, if you had enough, you know, depending on your your, your length. You can actually let go and actually have it be balanced, okay? That's the ideal thing to do, so that was easy to move around. But as it is, uh, it's very light to, to handle, and it's got a bunch of rocks in the back part of the tube. Now, see how handy that is? Okay, one thing to keep in mind, talking about this bottom part of the tube, when I filled it up, I actually put a block like I screwed a, a, a nail, screw, a screw, right through the center, into the gutter, right? And then I put a piece of wood in there to act as a block. Because otherwise, all the stuff you put in here, every time you, you know, your gutter spike goes down, all that stuff is gonna go to the front, right? It's gonna make a big racket. And so basically what I did is I formed a block right here, inside the pipe, right? Stuffed it with rocks and brick, and then just tape it off. Right. All right, so I'm just going to go into more detail, just break it down. I'm going to bring the camera closer to it. All right, so let's talk about the bottom part. It's taped off. Okay, this entire section is filled with brick. Okay, this is the outside of the tube. I went ahead and just painted it yellow. Okay, now the box that this sits on. Okay, I could have made it so that's a little bit closer to dimensions. You can see the gap right there. So what I had to do we put some shims on this side, all right, and this kind of just keeps it centralized. Um, when you build it, you can make this tolerance a lot closer. I meant to do that by cutting down these boards here, but you know that's how I went. Anyway, so that's there, and you want to once this is set, what I did is on the other side, I put screws through the block into the gutter downspout. Okay, and what that does, it keeps fixed in there, so it doesn't go up and down. Okay. <clears throat> And as well on the inside, I screwed the tube to the block. Okay, I mentioned about painting this black. Okay, and this is the shield. I'm going to paint the screen paint black, you know, so it looks a little nicer. But basically, it just keeps the, the, the sun from outside the tube area from hitting the screen. Okay, so that's that. And then the back part is my, I know, it's kind of messed up. However, it's in place, right? So however you want to adjust it, and you know, right now I'm just got some uh, painting tape, okay, just to just to keep it in there. Uh, there's other ways to do it, but the important thing to remember to remind to remember is that keep the focusing knob free, okay, because you might need to focus your image. Okay, and again, this is uh, an extra tripod I found. I just drew me this up just to keep my, you know, my instrument up when I'm not using it in the same general direction. Okay, so that's the sunscope. Unfortunately, I finished it. This is like mid-October in Portland, Oregon. So the sun is getting a little bit rarer to see these days. So I'm hoping to get some sun today so I can show the image. But uh, come summertime, it's going to be a good tool to have. All right, so uh, hey, if you build one, you know, similar to this design, or you get some other ideas, uh, let me know. You can email me at efren at palermoproject.com. And uh, happy sun gazing. Thank you. All right, so the sun decided to come out and visit today. So I'm actually going to show you how this looks. Pointing towards the sun. And then inside here, you can see the distant sun. Uh, right now, there's very little sunspot activity. But normally, you'd be able to see like dark blemishes on the sun. And also, this would be an excellent tool for watching the eclipse. All right, so there you have it, my homemade construction material solar projector.